welcome and guess what if you're not viewing this from my website please head to make sure you head over to mechafirmy.com so you never miss an update and I'm excited about this video this video is three signs that you are a highly sensitive person see myself I always thought it was something wrong with me because I'm always crying sometimes I want to be around people and then once I get around people I want to be alone it's very weird at first, but then I was like, this is normal because I'm a highly sensitive person. But there's things that you must know about yourself. Once you know that you're a highly sensitive person, you know how to control it. You know what it's what to look forward to. It's not things are not going to catch you off guard. So sign number one. So the first sign is, most highly sensitive people will go to a movie, this happens to me all the time. Let's say it's a movie like a comedy, and the comedy may be two guys, they have to work together and they can't stand each other, they hate each other freaking guts. And these guys have to go chase a bad guy down and lock the bad guy up because the bad guy is just doing so many things to just torture people and to just ruin the world or the economy. And so one of the bad guys, I mean one of the cops, are, is having just trouble at home with his wife and the other guy is having trouble, you know, with his finances or just di different things. Now, even though this might be a comedy to most people, the average person that is not sensitive will see it, oh, that was funny, when they do capture the bad guy, the stuff they had to go through not liking each other. Towards the end of the movie, let's say these two guys, they become like best friends and they help each other with their problems in life and not only do they capture the bad guy, they teach the bad guy something about life. A highly sensitive person see that and say, listen, that was powerful. They look at the big picture of things. Sorry, I have amethyst in my hand. Oh, just powerful. Let me take a moment, breathe in this beautiful nature and release. So, a highly sensitive person will look at that and because we see the big picture it's not just the comedy or just an act or a play it's like something that's close to heart like we take everything to heart the second sign that you are a highly sensitive person is if you cry a lot just for no reason most highly sensitive people will sit outside and just watch the birds look at the trees they watch children and they get something positive from everything that they see and they cry because guess why they cry because it's deeper than what the eyes are telling you most highly sensitive people see things with another set of eyes with intuition with their third eye right and to know to, to know this well most people that are highly sensitive they do this because they are in alignment with their chakras with their energies they are balanced in those areas so they feel things differently they see things differently you know two kids playing to them is not two kids playing two kids playing to them if they're a different race is two kids that are enjoying each other company that's helping each other you know if one falls down that's sharing something no, no matter the race you know that's having pure love that's highly sensitive people cry out for things like that the third sign that you're a highly sensitive person is it you get around people and you start to feel your energy getting drained it's often that I get around groups of people and let's say I just came out the house and I just got done meditating I just worked on my business I just came from the gym and I'll get around a group of people and if they don't share the same qualities as I do and even if they do people naturally can drain your battery it's just like your 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 cell phone. Even though you charge your battery in the morning or overnight, throughout the day, that bee was really trying to come for my life, like please. <laughs> throughout the day, your battery is gonna drain. It's gonna be certain things, phone calls is gonna take up your battery, text messages, emails, web browsing, and people are the same. But highly sensitive people feel this differently they actually feel people more highly sensitive people feel other people's energy so you ever heard the saying be careful who you hang around or be careful of the company you keep this is very crucial for highly sensitive people because we actually can absorb other people's energy even negative frequencies so that's how you may know you might go around somebody and even though you guys didn't do anything you might just went over to your friend's house or talk to somebody and you just feel drained 
And you're like, man, I don't know why. It may be a sign that you are highly sensitive and highly sensitive people feel energy more. And guys, it's nothing wrong with being highly sensitive if you are. It's a gift actually, because you are living life on like a different level, on a different platform. So don't be afraid of this. You have to really embrace this, embrace the creativity, embrace the, the, the gifts that the creator have given you. And guys, I hope you like this video. Make sure you like and you subscribe. Make sure you like, you subscribe, and you share. Share this video with someone that you may think they're highly sensitive. Even if I miss some topics or you say, oh what, Mecca? Here's another reason I think, or another sign someone may be highly sensitive. Please comment, share your comments below. And guess what? You know I always, always say this guys, here at MeccaFreeman.com we always encourage you to become the greatest version of yourself. So go out in the world, kick ass, and don't be afraid to be you. Until next time, I love you all with peace and love. Bye.